When you are experiencing an emergency situation, it can be difficult to know what to do. How do you know a call to 911 is needed? Is this an emergency that requires that level of assistance? You might think of a 911 call being required if someone has lost consciousness, has sustained a head, neck, or spine injury, has severe chest pain or pain that is not relieved by medication, or someone has difficulty breathing. Those are all valid reasons to call 911. But did you know there are other reasons? You might need to call 911 if a person with dementia has a sudden change in behavior, if they are acting aggressively towards you and could cause injury to you or themselves, if the person with dementia is experiencing new or worsening hallucinations, or if the person wanders away and you cannot find them. Once you dial 911, you will be connected to a 911 operator who will direct you to one of three emergency services, police, ambulance, or fire, depending on the nature of the emergency. Stay calm. If you reach a recording, listen to what it says. You will need to provide the address and give entry directions. Provide the phone number you are calling from. Wait for the operator to ask questions, then answer clearly and calmly. Let the operator guide the conversation. Follow all directions. To prepare for the paramedics to arrive, start by unlocking doors and turning on the lights. Make sure to put away any pets. Gather all medication and doctor's information. Have the following information available for the persons responding to the emergency. Patient's name, health card, date of birth, and what languages they speak. Does this person have any medical conditions? What medications are taken? And if the person has any allergies? Does this person have a DNR or any other care plan information to be followed? Whether you are a person living with dementia or a care partner who lives with someone with dementia, it is important to have a plan in place for emergency situations. There are many services available for people to use in planning for these situations. The Kool-Aid Medical Information Card is provided by VON or the paramedics. The card lists your health information, medications, medical conditions, allergies, etc. Having this information available for both the person and the care partner is important. If the care partner is the person in distress, the person that you live with might not be able to give your information to the paramedics. Another aid is the McCormick Caregiver Information Cards. These cards alert emergency services that you are someone who cares for a person with dementia and directs them to more emergency caregiving information. The Paramedic Access Program allows you to register your lockbox or door codes with the paramedics for them to enter your home. Lastly, there are many options for fall assistance programs. Don't wait for an emergency to happen. Prepare today.